I was one of a number of economists that were trying to make game theory a more useful tool for economic analysis. Uh, game theory it provides more power in analyzing strategic behavior. And a key thing was the uh, ability to analyze differences in information among the participants. Cooperation is sustained by uh, very, uh, a great variety of factors, but one is reputation. If you have a reputation for reciprocating cooperation, that can encourage a partner to cooperate with you. So people experience that in their everyday life in partnerships or even in marriage, where you have a reciprocal gift giving between partners. Reputation is also important in a different way in something uh, like negotiations. So negotiations between a firm and a labor union are affected by the union's belief that possibly the productivity of a labor is greater than the firm knows it to be. In that case, the firm has to signal credibly it's that the productivity of labor is not so very high by enduring a strike. Economic engineering is applied economics. It's putting economics to work to improve the design of markets. There are prominent examples in auctions and uh, other kinds of matching markets that bring sellers and buyers together to obtain gains from trade. And often the protocols, the procedures, the rules affect the efficiency of the outcome. I'm working on gift-giving games. These are games, say, between two partners that goes on over time. It's costly to give a gift. The benefit's great to the other party. Uh, I'm looking at how cooperation between the parties is affected by limitations of uh, memory or computational ability.